Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to explain you how to generate a couple of random numbers using the ASP32. But before we start analyzing the code, uh, let me explain you a little bit how the ASP32 supports this generation. Uh, basically, the random number generator uh, peripheral that we have on the ASP32 is based on the um, random noise that uh, uh, is uh, uh, generated in the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, radio frequency system and uh, that noise which is random which is not uh, uh, cannot be statistically predicted um, is used then to generate those numbers and thus they are truly uh, randomly generated numbers so they are they are really unpredictable the, the sequence so they are good to use on uh, cryptographic functions uh, nonetheless uh, if the both the bluetooth and wi-fi rf system is um, disabled then we need to, to consider these numbers as only pseudo-randomly generated. In this case, it means they appear to be random, uh, but in reality they are not truly uh, random. For this simple example, this doesn't uh, matter much, since we are just going to test the functions, but in terms of cryptography and, and security uh, functionality, uh, this is very important, and it's good that the ASP32 has this support. Uh, so, moving on to the code, this code will be very simple, uh, we'll start our setup function by opening the uh, serial connection just to output the results of our program and then we'll periodically print some random numbers on the main loop function. Uh, the first function that I want to talk about is this ASP underscore random, uh, this is a lower level function that generates uh, a random number between zero and the uh, max value and, and sign uh, sign inter integer can uh, can take. This is a, a lower level function that is also available on uh, uh, the EDF framework. Um, basically, it takes no arguments and returns the value I've mentioned. Um, but since we are using the Arduino core, there's also support from the random functions that uh, the Arduino uh, language usually makes available in in its implementation. This first one, the random, uh, they are both called random, uh, they overload the function, but the random function with one parameter defines the upper bound of the random number uh, that will be generated. In this case, for instance, we are using 10, so it will generate a number between 0 and 9, so this upper bound is exclusive. Uh, in this uh, version of the function call, if we pass two parameters, then we are defining first the lower bound, in this case 10, and then the upper bound, in this case 20. The, um, the lower bound is inclusive, and the upper bound is uh, again exclusive. So in this case, we would be generating a number between 10 and 19. Uh, note, however, that in terms of implementation, both these random functions I've been talking about use, uh, under the hood, they use the SP uh, random function, so the same, the same considerations about the RF subsystem needed to be active for the numbers to be truly random uh, also applies. So basically this is, uh, these are three of the ways we have to obtain the, the random numbers. I've already uploaded the code and have it running here. So in the serial monitor, as you can see, um, in the first function call, uh, we, we get some pretty big numbers because we are not um, we are not uh, imposing any upper or lower bounds, so it's basically the ASP underscore random uh, uh, generating a number between zero uh, zero and uh, the unsigned int uh, limit, and then as you can see here for for the two other uh, calls we are we are uh, generating random numbers inside the the bounds we have defined. So this is uh, just what we need to do. It's very simple and hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.